What are your weeds telling you about your soil? Or as you're out on a hike, a walk, you may begin to decipher some information from the earth around you, and it might give you a hint about what the soil type is like in the area that you are at the moment. Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. And I wanna start off with two indicator plants, uh, not typically weeds, and then I wanna get into some proper weeds that if you get to know, they could really help you know uh, information about the soil that is right in front of you. But the first one I want to talk about is actually more of an ed wild edible, and that is an obvious one, sand cherry. Here's the sand cherry. Just yesterday I found these wild sand cherries growing, and these are totally edible, and they obviously grow in what? They grow in sand. I mean, that's obviously, it's right in the name. So that's an indicator of the kind of soil that you're looking at. Now, you say, Chad, that's kind of obvious. I'm just getting you kind of primed and realizing that certain plants indicate the soil. The second one are the plants, a number of them are all around me. And it is the wild blueberry. On my property here, we have wild blueberry all throughout the forest in the under story of the trees they are right here and you probably know this is kind of an obvious one we're going to get to some ones that you may not know but the blueberry if you have blueberries almost every you probably have what kind of soil yeah acidic soil and the ph of soil for blueberries typically is going to be in the range of four into five plus somewhere in there so if you see wild blueberries going everywhere you know that this is probably likely this is an area that has quite acidic soil. I wanna show you three reasons actually this may be important to be able to kind of discern the plants around you so that they can teach you. And number one is you may not always be able to have a soil test. You may be in a situation where you're looking to buy a property and in times like today where the market is just crazy hot and people are buying things up, I mean, you need to snap in and give an offer. If you knew these things, it will give you an indication. It's not going to guarantee. I mean, this is not as proper as a soil test. A soil test is obviously the gold standard to tell you what's going on under the ground around you. But if you don't have that opportunity and you can simply see the weeds growing around you, you can see how well they're growing, that's going to help you to know, okay, this land could work. This could be a place that I could buy and potentially grow things quite well. Number two, right along with maybe even buying a property, is if you're going to do this, this might help you to know, okay, this would be, I, I'm looking to grow blueberries or I'm looking to grow uh, cherry trees or apple trees. Knowing some of these things might give you a better indication for the soil, for the environment in your particular region. Another thing about weeds in your area, if you get to know the weeds, you can get to know the wild weeds and that can actually help you have plants that you can eat and they're everywhere all around you. Another video I showed talked about the fact that there are probably about 400,000 different plants worldwide and about 300,000 of them are edible. Three-fourths of plants are edible at least in some form and getting to know them can be a real benefit to you. Now there's two real keys to seeing weeds and those weeds being able to help you understand something about the soil and I want to give you an example of that with one of the weeds that grows on my property and this is purslane. Now purslane I want to show you it's not only important to know the weed itself, but it's also important to actually know it well enough that you can tell like whether it's growing in good soil or not. And so here's an example of it growing in some poor soil right here. And it grows, it grows still well, still edible. It's a great wild edible, one of the best wild edibles that I know of. I just, I think it's fantastic. It's great for a, a salad green, has high levels of omega-3s. But then you look at it compared to this area. Now this area was meant to be an area with beets. I put compost down this year and we planted the beets and then we had a crazy mole or vole problem that just decimated. There was nothing here and we were away for a while so we didn't get to weed well either. But regardless, what we do have now is incredible purslane growing up and you could just see how well it's growing here not only knowing a wild edible or a weed but knowing how it should look both when it's kind of anemic and when it's actually growing well is very important 
The idea that plants can be indication of the soil's fertility or specific for certain kind of plants goes back thousands of years. For instance, Pliny the Elder, a contemporary of Jesus, remarked that wheat grew well where wild elder, plum, and thimbleberry grew. Now I'm going to start talking about some plants that are kind of an evidence typically if you see a lot of these particular plants growing, you're going to know that this is probably not the healthiest, strongest most nutritious soil and then afterward I'm going to go into at least three or four plants that if you see them growing well growing in abundance that is evidence that you have probably very good soil on that property. Now you probably know mullen. Mullen is something that is used it's a great you can be used as a bow drill something you can use to start a fire. The leaves are something that can be used to help with the lungs, to help breathe better. But back to the point of what it tells you. Normally, if you see it, it's an indicator that your soil is probably kind of anemic and kind of acidic. So it's weaker soil and it is acidic soil. So typically not the best. If that's one of the main things you see growing or it's growing everywhere. And on my property, this area right here where you see it growing, is very weak. It's not the healthiest soil here. The second weed that might tell you that you may not have the very best soil, that remember this is just an approximation. This is not going to be good as, as good as a soil test, are dandelions. Dandelions, it's been said, are often an indication of soil that is low in calcium. And often it's compacted soil. And the great thing is that taproot that this plant has can bury deep into the earth and it's believed that it can pull up from down deeper this calcium, bring it back up into the soil, and if that plant then is, you know, dies there or it decays there, you end up giving that nutrition, that calcium to the soil. So it might actually be giving nutrition to the soil around it. But the other thing is that dandelions, I've talked about it before, every single part of the dandelion is edible. So if you're in a situation where you need food, and I have, I've you know hiked all night long one time, I had no food with me, and I was eating dandelion all night long. Typically I don't eat at night, but I was just so hungry that I was eating dandelion all night long. And so you can do that, but it also can be an indication of the soil that's around you. Now, wood sorrel here often might be confused with clover, but the wood sorrel actually, the leaves end up having more of the heart shape on them. And this is often an indicator of low calcium and high magnesium. So that's just something that you may be discovering from this particular plant in your garden. Now I want to transition to plants that are indicators that you have good soil or the property or, or the land that you're looking at has good soil. And the first one you might not think of as a plant that you love, but it's stinging nettle. Amazingly, stinging nettle is a plant that is edible, but don't just go eat it until you learn how to do it, but it is an edible wild plant. But on top of that, it's an indicator of a rich acidic soil. So once again, this will give you an idea. You see stinging nettle, and that's probably one of the easier plants to decipher, especially if you ever go rub up against it. It might help you to learn that plant very quickly. You'll find out why it's called stinging nettle. But then you'll also know, oh, there's probably pretty good soil in this area. But let's go on to the second indicator that you might have some good soil, the area that you're looking, and that is chickweed. Chickweed is an indicating plant that tells you it's probably high nitrogen soil. It may be acidic at that time, it could even be compacted soil, but it is likely growing in a high nitrogen, relatively quality soil. So if you see it and you see it growing well, that might be what it's indicating. Next to me is our last plant, which is a great indicator plant, and that is lamb's quarters. Now, lamb's quarters grows in very high nitrogen, very rich soil. Now, I've got to say, it will grow in other soils, and that's why indicator plants are not as cut and dry as, oh, then it has to be great or not. Now, here's an example of it growing on an area in my property that we haven't added any compost to, we haven't added any extra topsoil or anything, and look, it's just squirrely, it's tiny, you can see it. So if you know the plant, you know right next to me here, these things can get, I don't know, I've seen them as high as six feet tall, I've seen them tall, uh, taller than me, but this one right here is probably, I don't know, three feet tall, two and a half, so maybe, maybe more. But the point is, this is great indicator plant. It's an also another wild edible. This is a plant that you can you can eat and it has a flavor kind of like spinach. It's very healthy and maybe even more more healthy than spinach. So 
another great indicator plant. If you see this growing, it's growing real tall. It's growing very well in a part of some land that you're looking at and you see a bunch of it growing. That's probably a good indicator that it is very rich soil. Sure, in the end, if you can, you're gonna wanna get a soil test to make sure, but likely, if you see it growing like this, that is a fantastic indication. So if you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, share it with a friend. God bless and have a fantastic day.